Hey, welcome to the Midwest Brew Review. Happy St. Paddy's Day. We're doing St. Paddy's Day Irish Nitro Showdown. here to blind taste in ranks of stouts. We do have a pro, uh, Ricky from Foreign Exchange. Thanks for joining us. How much lactose is in these stouts? <laughs> okay. So, well, there we go. Ricky, what okay. do you look for in a dry Irish stout? All right, I look for like nice, like dark English malt flavor. Um, nice little, nice little bit of bitterness, really clean finish, uh, and a nice creamy body too. The nitro cans are kind of interesting to begin with because they're all they're trying to do is like emulate uh, a nitro tap at a bar or pulling a pint basically. Kind of hard to do, but they put the little nitrogen widget in there when you crack the can, it do they know? releases it. it does a whole, yeah, that's just about as much knowledge as I have. This is a little bomb <laughs> that you put in there. What do you guys think this one is, honestly? This is delicious. It's, it's refreshing, clean. Uh, it's not as like creamy as I would it's expect, it's but it's also hard for me to guess because I haven't had two out of the three. Yeah. So this is mystery beer number two, um, and I, you know, we failed to mention the first one. What I do love about this style is that on a day like St. Patrick's Day, where you're going to get after it early and often, this is like the OG of session beers, right? These are generally like low fours. You can drink a ton of. And, the, and for how dark they are, and the kind of the cliche you get, like about a Guinness or about a whatever, generally dry Irish stouts come in low, low calorie beers, like surprisingly. There's just not a lot of. What is that? Because there's just not a lot of heft to the the grain bill. Or? Yeah, so there's, not, there's not much not much in terms of fermentables, and because it's dry, all the sugars ferment out. Uh, so you're not left with overly sweet. You know, a lot of over smell. Uh, Got it. It smells more chocolatey than the last one. It's like chocolatey, ready. It's a little bit of sweetness in the nose. Good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. It's it's got that like we were saying earlier, like that like an over roast, of maybe a little ashy, but it's got that nice mocha coffee chocolate. There's a little more middle to it, if that makes sense. There's a little more, I don't want to say it's heftier. Maybe it is. Just, it's not as like dry and light it's as the first one. It straight up just feels like it has more flavor than the first one. I want to respectfully disagree. I think the first one has a little bit more flavor. Okay. This one is a little bit more toned down. Uh, it does have a little more of a, a, little bit of a, a little bit of sweetness to it. The first one didn't have. It's not as dry. Uh, and it's also got a little more bitterness. It makes me wonder if this is the Breckenridge. If an American was gonna mess around with with a classic style, I feel like a little extra hoppiness, yeah. and a little more character. Yeah, the first one was a lot cleaner than this one. So we're on to beer number three. We've, we we, we kind of had a few little guesses here and there. We know right? something very interesting with beer. Yeah, the, the, the beer number three, Matt cracked it beyond the table without us looking, but it definitely had a very distinct like hiss yep. to it. You heard a lot of rushing, air rushing, carbonation rushing out of the can. So this one seems a little more, to me, a little more subdued on the nose to the last one. Yeah, there's not much of an art. There's not much of a nose, really. No, uh, maybe a ready malt, but yeah. not. Not much chocolate, you don't get that coffee, you know, that dark chocolate you got on the other ones. But I think this might be the purpose that we've all been dreaming of. This is the creamiest of the three. Uh, I actually is, think this, this is the purpose. This is what I want in a, when I want an Irish stout, this is what I want. I like haven't that. had one in a while, but I think this is purpose case. Um, so what I'm gonna say is it has less chocolate flavor. It has, it does have that coffee-like bitterness. Um, it has the creaminess that I want out of this style. Um, but it doesn't have as much flavor. It's more toned down, uh, more subdued of, uh, compared to the other two. Yeah, I agree. I think that like the, the flavors follow the nose. It's everything's a little more subdued, but it's it's all those points. It's got the roast. It's got that coffee roast. It's got creaminess. It's got the right body. In terms of, if I was gonna have one of these. This is the one that I would want. Uh, the first one, whichever the first one was, is the one that I would want to have tons of. And the second one uh, wasn't my thing. 
Yeah. It was alright. It wasn't bad, but it, it, from, what, from what I look for in an Irish dry stout, uh, there were some things that were like a little bit more experimental, uh, in my opinion. That was Murphy's, and it's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he just knows. So before we give our official rankings and thoughts, we're gonna try and guess what they actually were. For uh, number two, I felt like, are we in the... I think, right, right, it I think had the most agree. character. Yeah, I think we all agree that number two. Yeah, I feel like that's what an American version of an Irish stout would. I get behind that. Okay. And then the other two, I'm, I'm a coin flip guy, that's so you guys have to hash it out. That's a toss up, man. Brian seemed pretty convinced. I'm calling three Murphys. Third one we tried Murphys. Number one, Guinness. I think number three is Guinness, uh, and I think the first one was Murphys. So we have four opposites. Point I'm going with the pro. Keep in mind, I have never had. I have never had Murphy's or... That's how you know I'm right. Number two, you guys nail. Yes! Number two. That means two, two right. of us are going to be right, one of us is going to be wrong. That's, That's right. absolutely right. The third one was Murphy's. Yes! Out. Nice. Dude. Dude. The first one was Guinness. <laughs> I knew go. it. That's Brian why Brian. I like Murphy's. I told you. Uh, thanks to our guest, uh, Ricky Cervantes, yeah. fr Cervantes from uh, Foreign Exchange Brewery. Thank you, thank you. Straight out of Aurora. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. Oh, yeah, Happy St. Patty's Day. Cheers, guys. <laughs>